Hello and welcome to another video. Today is a deadlift session and what I'm going to do uh, today is test my deadlift max and see according to Jeff Nippard's chart where does my deadlift fall and he has six categories knob, beginner, intermediate, advanced, elite and free. Now what I am aiming for is for at least advanced and I have a chart from Jeff Nippard there you go and my one rep max on the deadlift is 240 kilograms which is 529 pounds that's the max but I'm not going to use that as as the weight so what I'm going to do today is warm up and then whatever max I lift today then I'm going to use that number and see where do I fit here uh, part of the warm up is done and I'm going to start with a bar and keep adding one plate and do triples and then as the weight gets heavier I'll do doubles and as it gets even heavier then I'll do singles until I reach the max. And let's see um, what Jeff has to, Jeff's chart has to say about my deadlift. With that said, let's get started. And if you enjoy content like this, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell below. Now, I'll leave the chart here. We will come back to that at some point in the session. All right, let's um, start warming up. <laughs> Feels strange to just um, warm up with the bar. I need a little bit of weight. <laughs> I'll be doing um, triples and then as the weight gets heavy, I'll do doubles and then singles. Now, I came across Jeff's videos on YouTube. He produces really good content quite some time ago. And, um, and I just got curious, just to, out of curiosity, to test where do I um, fall in, in terms of categories that he, he has. So for the squat, I have a video coming up so you will see. And... For the deadlift, of course, we'll find out today. And I also want to test the bench, but that will have to wait a little longer because of the shoulder injury. So the shoulder is not completely healed. I don't want to um, risk any further injury to the shoulder. So I'll have to wait because I want to test all of them. So squat, bench, and deadlift. Squat is already tested and deadlift will be tested today and then bench probably in a couple of months or so. All right, let's um, continue the warm up. I'll need to go get some clips after this set, of course. I can uh, do one more set without the clips. 
but then I don't want the weight to keep moving. And I won't use the straps or the belt just yet. And if you've watched some of my videos before, you probably know that I'd like to lift a decent amount of weight without uh, the belt and without straps. Even though this is not a grip exercise, still. That second rep was pretty strange because the weight was not against my thigh and it felt a little more difficult than it should but because the weight is still still light at this point so it doesn't really make a lot of difference but then, yeah as you lift you'd want to keep the weight rubbing against your shins and then as you come up against your thighs and then push the hips through and then keep the head in place. This is one of the techniques that has helped me improve my deadlift. And I keep talking pretty much in every deadlift video about this technique. I recommend for anyone out there watching using this technique because when I started deadlifting and for quite some time as well, my technique, my deadlift technique was horrible. And luckily I did not get any injury because usually you, uh, you, you, if, if, your if your form and technique is not correct, then the risk of injury is pretty high. But I was lucky, and my technique was, I was keeping the bar close to my shins and thighs as I was pulling up, but I wasn't using my hips enough, so basically I would actually do pretty much all the work with my, my lower back, so that's how I would get up, so I would start here, and then just go up. Never really push the hips through. So whereas the technique I'm trying now, get the bar, and then like that. And then before, as I was coming up, instead of my hips coming through, I would actually move my back like this. When I look at those videos, I, I laugh sometimes, but we all start somewhere. I was lucky I didn't get injured. And that's why I keep sharing these tips with uh, everyone out there watching. Hopefully, uh, you start implementing these techniques and they will definitely help you improve your deadlift as well as help you prevent injuries. Again, no belt on this one. This is double the body weight, double my body, my body weight. And I'm going to do a double on this one. No hand straps, no belt yet. Because from time to time, usually I start using the belt and the straps at this point. But from time to time, I do a couple of reps without the straps and the belt at double body weight. Just to know that I actually, if I tend to forget the equipment or I don't have the equipment with me, then I can actually deadlift a certain amount of weight or a decent amount of weight without any straps whatsoever. All right, so two, um, two reps on this one. But I will use mixed grip though. There we go. My hands are quite sweaty, so uh, uh, I work out in Gothenburg, Sweden, and at the gym where I work out, they let me use the entire studio. There is no one around here, so whenever the studio is available, they said that you can just go inside, do your own, do your thing, do your recording, do your exercises, and 
you have your own privacy, which is great. And, but it tends to get a little uh, hot in here. I haven't figured it out yet how the air conditioning works here. I have to ask the staff how that works. But it's OK for now because it helps with the warm up. So you kind of warm up faster, I suppose. Next will be five plates. All right, I got the clips and the little plates. And I also figured, out, figured it out how the um, AC works here. I asked one of the staff, and they just came and put the AC on, which is great. Great staff here, great gym. Mm. Now this one should go up without any problems. There we go. Yeah, so on Mitch Hooper's video, he usually I I strap the hand straps like this. I wrap them around like this. Whereas in his video, he does it the opposite. So instead of going this way, he goes this way and then across here like that. And apparently what that does is that it lets the bar actually slide down a couple of centimeters or an inch, meaning that you, your lift is an inch shorter. I don't know. I'm going to do it the, my, my way because I don't want to experiment now. Uh, but I'll give that a try at some point and keep you up, updated how, how it works. So this is 220 kilograms, 485 pounds. Again, now these are singles from from this point on. <laughs> All right, we got the weight here. Now, I have to think how to rearrange the plates. All right. All right. So 230 kilograms loaded. I'll take three more minutes of break. So the breaks are quite long, actually, a minimum of five minutes in between. That's the downside of actually deadlifting heavy because the breaks end up being pretty long. My videos are about having fun, uh, sharing my learning experience in hopes that for anyone out there watching who's just either starting out or has been lifting weights for a little while but struggling with either the technique or getting a, a rep extra in or increasing the weight by a few kilograms. So, and I keep sharing my experience. What have I done that has helped me uh, lift whatever I'm lifting? Because when I started lifting, I started with 100 kilograms on the deadlift. So that's 220 pounds. And that was quite challenging. But I was doing that for reps, a uh, minimum of eight reps. And I did that for about a year. Uh, when I went from 100 to 120, after a year of deadlifting, I was like, oh, wow. 
I felt good, even though if I were to tell someone that, hey, my deadlift is 120 kilograms, that wouldn't impress anyone. But I didn't really care. I wasn't doing this to impress anyone. So, you, so shouldn't you. Uh, find a way that's good and challenging enough for you that allows you to get a few reps, at least four, four to six, let's say. I, if the weight is lighter, then you'd want to get eight to ten. But let's say if you're going on a challenging weight, then try to get at least um, four, or four reps. Uh, or anywhere between three and six reps. Now, it's time, and let's get set up. Not bad. I'm a slow deadlifter, so as I start, so I'm a pretty slow starter, but once I'm past that few centimeters, then the lockout usually, it's never been a problem. Now, let's see what's next. It gets pretty tricky calculating the weight once you start using 10 kilogram plates, five kilogram plates, two and a half kilogram plates. All right, so one, two, three, four, 80 kilograms, and this is 15 kilograms, 180 plus 15, 95, 105, 110, 112 and a half, plus 112 and a half, 225 plus, 20 of the bar, 245. So this is 245 kilograms. Uh, all right. So let's go for 245 kilograms. Nope, new PR has to wait. So, right, so 230, 230 kilograms is the max I lifted today. And now we are going to check the chart and see where that puts me. So this is not about what is my max of all time. This is about the max I could lift today. And let's check it out. Can you see this? There you go. Uh, you can pause the video if you want and check out the numbers. Now, so let's uh, pull up the calculator and do some math. My max today was 230 kilograms. And we are going to divide that by 95. And that is 2.42. 2.4, uh, so that's above intermediate because intermediate level is 2.25. Now let's go to the advanced level. The advanced level is 2.25 uh, to three times the body weight. So I lifted today 2.4 times of my body weight and to be in the advanced level, one should lift a minimum of 2.25 to three times the body weight. And that puts me in the advanced level according to Jeff Nippert. So I'm pretty happy with that. I think I could have gone a little heavier, uh, probably 
235 could have gone up today, but anyway, 230 is my maximum I lifted today. I'm using that number, and that puts me in the advanced level according to Jeff Nippert. Now, keep in mind that these are all just about having a little bit of fun and testing what can I lift and comparing my numbers to what other people think. I don't know what's the science really behind this. Even though Jeff is a great guy and produces great content, and I recommend you check out his channel, um, I, I, you shouldn't take these seriously. But I'm happy, if I'm in the advanced level, I'm really happy for deadlifting for less than three years and only having taken deadlift seriously for the past eight months. I'm really happy that I uh, fall in the advanced level. 